Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Ranch Let's Play. So I've made a few changes since the end of the last episode. You probably noticed we finished off the last episode with over 70 grand in the bank, raking it in, and now we've got about half that. Well, I've done a little bit of work on renovating the house, a little bit bigger than it was before. It's still practically only um, one story though. The downstairs, you will notice, looks completely different. So the living room is a lot bigger now. I try to make it like a cross between rustic and sheep. I really like it. I think this is a lovely living room. So this is our main hosting room. The kitchen's got bigger, we've got more counter space. I was originally gonna have like a dining area here, but I think I just made more money than what I was expecting to. So I just thought, fuck it, let's branch out. So now we have a little bit of an extension so we have a dedicated dining room here. We've got the same bathroom we used before with the shower and now we also have another bathroom over here with a tub in it. So we've got two bathrooms. Alyssa's bedroom has been extended so you'll probably notice there's a lot more storage for clothes. And that is because at some point during this episode I think we should take take things to the next level with our boyfriend and I think we should ask Dev to move in with us. So this is going to be our couple's bedroom and I did mention at the very start of this let's play that I wanted to have like a proper you know family life so I've got three empty neutral bedrooms here because I do plan for Alyssa and Dev to have a family and I just didn't want to decorate any of these rooms until you know until we actually get pregnant for all we know might not be able to. And then we have this little hallway here, leading the way to the other bedrooms. Oh, who's that calling? We're fixing your phone lines. Don't pick it up the next time someone calls. Just hang up. Always just hang up. So we had a pretty successful episode last time where we basically just worked on tulip skills. We did try and enter the ultimate horse competition, but we were quite underqualified. But she's worth 24,000 simoleons now, and she's at level 8 for all of her skills. I'm thinking today probably will be a little bit more hands-off. We will still send the horses for training, but we'll just utilise the community board. In fact, you know what? You know what? I might just send them off for training right now. Let's get Tulip to do maybe three rounds of temperament training. And then Pumpkin, she could maybe do Agility. Yeah, I've still got quite a lot of money in the bank. I didn't want to burn through everything that we have because we've still got half an empty ranch, so that's going to need some building at some point. Plus, you know, there are things we'll have to pay for in the future, like a wedding maybe. Today, I mainly want to focus on building relationships because, again, I said in the beginning that I wanted her to have friends and we've kind of bumped into a few people here and there, but we don't really have any meaningful friendships outside of our boyfriend. So I'd quite like to spend a bit of time with some of the locals and just try and make friends with people. Focus on some of the, um, the crops I've grown. I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, harvest everything because harvesting stuff is making me a lot of money. But I feel like because we already have so much money, I haven't been so focused on harvesting every single day. But yeah, it's worth doing every now and again. Maybe we'll plant some of those oversized crops today. And maybe later we'll go on a hot date with Dev. Like I said, I would like to maybe get him to move in. We could do with an extra pair of hands. Oh, I forgot that I almost filled all of these. I bet some of these are already finely aged. If I do have any finely aged ones, I'm not even going to sell them yet. It doesn't look like I do anyway. They're all like moderately aged. But even if I did, I'll probably save them for when we actually need a top up because right now I've got far more money than I actually need. Moderately aged, moderately aged. Yeah, I mean, none of them are finely aged now anyway. Oh, except two of them. Two strawberry bottles are finely aged. We must be close to maxing out the gardening skill soon. Oh yeah, we are. Gardening level 9. Oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Taking a photo of my house for some reason. Tell a funny story. Okay, so I think, even though Dev's here, maybe I'll just give him a little kiss. I wasn't really expecting him to come to just pop invite himself round. But okay, whatever. Woohoo without protection. Profess undying love, I think. But I'm gonna send him away because I want to go to some of my neighbors' houses and try and make some friends. And, but we'll go out later, Dev. Maybe tomorrow we'll go out for dinner or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice for you. I think he's getting into photography. Yeah, he's uh, definitely into taking lots of snaps. 
Oh, ask if Dev wants children. That's a good question to ask. Before we invite him in, find out if he wants kids. You okay there, little lamb? Yeah? Yeah, I think everyone's doing pretty good. I'd like having children. Oh, Dev, that is music to my ears. Right, let's just kiss and then I'm going to send you home. Okay, send home. Oh, actually... I mean, I've, I've sent him home anyway. I realize he has a trait that I don't even know about yet. We should probably try and find that out. Because if we ask him to move in and it turns out he's a slob, I mean, that is going to be a problem. The Grove family. Juniper, I think, is someone that I already have a relationship with. So I'm going to go make... Well, they have been busy multiplying, haven't they? I think I'm going to go and say hello to her, see if we can become besties. Hey, Juniper. How's it going? Share close-knit tips? Yeah, we'll just do a few interactions, try and become friendly. I don't know why we have a romantic in um, relationship. Is it going to say she's a love interest? No. Okay, good. Don't want to blur those lines there, Juniper. Insult yard. Bit fucking harsh. Let's see if we can get to know Juniper and uh, see what her traits are. Hello, child. But walk away, please. We're having adult chat. Oh, fucking kids. They walk into a conversation, they just want to be star of the show, don't they? Go away. Go go play with your toys. Leave. She's a rancher. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Oh, they're having a boring conversation, apparently. Oh, I don't think we're very compatible. We're barely building a relationship at all. She's angry. Why? Why are you pissed off? Lifestyle denied from having a poor discussion about close-knit lifestyle. She dislikes the colour grey and she likes the colour orange. See, Juniper, we're learning so much about each other. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Just be my friend. Fucking hell. Get back over here. Okay, she is coming back. She's stomping back. Try to calm down. Let's just... Tr Let's just try and make this a funny chat, shall we, Juniper? Why are you shouting? Hey, hey. Okay, well, turns out Juniper can go fuck herself, so I guess we're going to have to try and find another friend. She doesn't like jokes. She finds me boring. Oh, suit yourself, Juniper. Enjoy living on your ranch with no fucking friends. Christ alive. Let's go see Sienna. She might be nice. She's got horses. I got horses. This girl's pretty cool anyway. She's a horse trainer. Oh, it looks like we're already kind of like friendly are we already friends with sienna no we're acquaintances but we do know all of her traits so we must we must get on pretty well okay i think sienna is going to be our best friend she's a lot more chill than juniper she laughs at my jokes she seems pretty chill we're gaining some charisma i wonder if we could hug her maybe we could be best friends I just, I don't want Dev to be my everything, you know? I want to have a friendship outside of our relationship with Dev. Oh, we're still not friends. Oh, shit, I think she's going to go for a hug. This might be embarrassing. This might not end well. We might get a flat palm in the face. Oh, no, she, oh, she's so chill. She is so chill. We've got a good reputation. Nice. Oh, and now we're friends. Does Juniper have a partner? We could be couples friends. I don't think she does. I think she lives alone. But that's okay. That's fine. We can share Dev if you like. Okay, well, it's getting late. One of my horses is scared, so I think I should probably go home. But that was that was time well spent there. We've got ourselves a friend. Not quite a best friend yet, but a friend nonetheless. Okay, how's my horses? Pumpkin's got low fun. So you know what? Pumpkin, go play with the ball. How's Tulip doing? Tulip's all good. She's just fine. Okay, great. And how are you doing? Just a bit hungry. Maybe have some fish and chips? So I'm thinking tomorrow... Oh yeah, we've still got quite a few days left of autumn. I'm thinking tomorrow um, we will harvest our crops, we'll do a little bit of wine making, and then maybe we'll go for a romantic dinner with Dev. I was thinking about um, when we get into the next season, what I'm going to do. And I'm torn between having another greenhouse and putting all of my autumn plants in there, or just leaving my autumn plants as they are, let them grow the next time the season comes around and just plant new winter plants. I don't know, pros and cons to both. A lot more hassle to move all my plants into a greenhouse, but I can get harvestables from them. However, I do have plenty of money through various different means, so is it really worth the effort of moving every single plant when I could just plant some winter ones, you know? And it already takes several hours just collecting my harvestables every day. So yeah, I am kind of half tempted to just leave them as they are and just let them die and um, sprout again next time fall comes around. 
Because I've still got so much space I could use for planting winter plants. Uh, why don't you go to the bathroom, take a shower, and then go to bed. And that way, by the time you wake up, all of your needs will be very green. Your neighbourhood's eco footprint is green. Oh, good. Great. How did those training sessions go for Tulip? Oh, okay. It is making a little bit of headway. So if I send her for temperament training three times every day, then in about another three days or so, she'll be at level nine. Oh, she's got poor social. <laughs> All right, let's just have a little chat with her. Get up. You've got good energy. You're fine. I mean, maybe we could even help her with her temperament a little bit as well. Do some temperament interactions. Oh, I wonder what her relationship with Pumpkin is like. Oh, she also has Maybe poor fun and low social. Okay, so social is good, so I might ask Tulip to play with the bull, and then we'll come and talk to Pumpkin, because she's got low social too. Oh, poor Pumpkin. I feel like she, she probably feels a bit forgotten about sometimes, because oh, Tulip is the champion horse. Yes, but you are just as needed, Pumpkin. You are just as much a cog in this machine. Okay, social has gone to excellent, great, great. You know what, I think we might even just be able to splash out on another ball. We can afford to have more than one now. There we go. Go ahead and play, pumpkin, you treat yourself, girl. And then we will just refill the feeder there. Maybe send a cheeky text to Sienna, let her know we're thinking about her already. Um, we'll have, oh, does that tree need evolving? Yes, okay, evolve, evolve. And we'll harvest all these flowers. I must have thousands of simoleons worth of flowers in my inventory. Okay, and then I think we will clean the nectar maker. Oh, we've mastered the gardening skill. Sweet. And maybe we'll craft... Um, hmm. Let's do three bottles, maybe? Three bottles of nectar? Salim Benali has asked me out on a date. Should I say, yeah, go for it. I don't even know who you are. You go for it, girl. Oh, wait, you know what I should do before I go into... I'll finish this bottle of wine, but then I need to do the horse training again. So we'll send Tulip for three lots. And Pumpkin, you could do three lots as well, but we'll have you just do agility. Oh, you're looking a little bit stinky. What about my goats? How's my little goats doing? Fine. Oh, this one's kind of dirty as well. Where are you? Over here. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, Dev's calling. But thinking about getting to know Amelia Ernest better as a friend. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you who you can and can't be friends with. I'm not that type of partner. And you know what? After all this, I think we deserve to have a little lunch. What about a BLT? Just keep it simple. So I've got three bottles here. So I'll stick them in this wine rack here. Go and take a shit in your brand spanking new bathroom. How's pumpkin skills coming along? Oh, they're coming along nicely. She's going to start being able to do um, expert competition soon. Well, we have a bit of time before we start. Do I have anything to plant? Oh, no, I want to get oversized ones. We have a bit of time still before we go for dinner, so I may as well use this time to plant a few crops. We will do some pumpkins over here. What else shall we get? We'll get some aubergine some mushrooms and this time we're going to use fertilizer so we can try and help them grow okay i just bought some fertilizer so we'll water all of our plants we'll fertilize them all and hopefully we will end up with the most beautiful oversized crops of them all and maybe we'll even enter them into a competition one of the finchwick fairs or something Shit, man it's already nine o'clock we've spent so long fertilizing things right Alyssa. We gotta go. We're asking Dev on a date. We're gonna go on a date with him and ask him to move in. I know of this real cute little romantic restaurant. The same one I went to for the influencer video. Very adorable. Oh, look at you two all suited and booted. Should we get a table? I wonder if we'll be inside or outside this time. Is that Malcolm Landgrab? How embarrassing. He's wearing the same outfit as my boyfriend. Oh no, I think Dev got changed. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going upstairs this time with a lovely little balcony seat. Oh, how romantic. Okay, um, we will we'll order for the table. Couple love potions, why not? Should we do the chef's choice? Tiger shrimp in smoked dewdrop broth? broth? Yeah, okay, why not? Why not? Oh, you guys look so cute together. Should we have a deep conversation? 
Oh, we've uncovered his last trait. He's romantic. Aww. Huh. For some reason, they just kind of glitched there. I hope that doesn't cancel out our order. Because I, once again, have the option to order for the table. Maybe I'll order twice, just to, um, just to make sure that we've definitely ordered our food. Oh, no, we have already ordered. Okay. Cool, cool. That's good to know. We went inside to share a secret when you were already sat somewhere secluded. No, no, let's go into the crowded restaurant. Oh, I think that might be our food. Oh yeah, that looks delicious, smoking. Take a photo of it. Eat and learn experimental food. Guys, sit back down, sit, sit down. Oh, these Sims, man. Oh, why do they do this? Why are you doing this? Why can't you just sit nicely? I might not even have the ability to interact about the food now because you both got up. Sit the fuck back down. God damn it. Right, can we just sit still now, please? Enthuse about the meal. See if we can have some deep chats. I'm pretty sure last time we had... Okay, we've got gold. Okay, perfect. Be enticing. Right in the middle of the restaurant. We don't care who sees it. Maybe we can't ask him to join household while there's an event going on. Maybe we have to wait till the end of our date and then we can ask him. I do love these two as a couple though, they are so cute. Look at that relationship bar, they love each other as much as they possibly could. Oh, he's talking about dogs, maybe he wants to get one. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the date early so I can ask him to move in. Oh, gold medal reward, that's right. Ask to join household. I think it's about time, Dev, that you got yourself a key. Start helping me round, helping me out around the ranch. I think he said yes. Oh, he has a dog, little Jeff. Maybe that's why he was talking about dogs then. And he bought fifteen and a half grand. I mean, we we had a lot. We obviously bring a lot more to the table, but it's not about that. Not about that. Oh, how nice. So we have a dog now who has just turned up at the restaurant. Turned up at the restaurant with his little bag. Hey, Dad, I heard we're moving out. I've just come here, ready for the big move. Maybe we should, um, maybe we should talk to the dog then. Try and get to know the dog. Make a good impression. I mean, dogs love food. So maybe if I give him, like, a big treat, then we'll be best friends. Soulmates. Close from moving in together. Oh, you guys. Oh, just oh, stop it. All right, make a good impression on the dog, Alyssa. Hopefully the dog isn't afraid of horses. Okay, well, this has been very eventful. I think probably we should head home now. We'll take our new pooch, Jeff, and our new live-in boyfriend, our house boyfriend, and we'll go home. He's friendly, glutton, and loyal. Okay, so food will get me everywhere with this dog. That's good to know. Okay, Dev, so you're, you're hungry. You've just been to the restaurant. So he works as a pastry chef. That's good. That means he's a really good cook. Well, I'll tell you what, Dev. Go and get yourself just a quick meal. Now, where do we sleep? We sleep on the left side. So, Dev, you're going to have to get in line. You're going to have to fall in line and sleep on the right side. And I think we should also celebrate with a shag. He's got some good skills. He's got skill in pet training. He's afraid of the dark, apparently. Fucking hell. Fear of the dark and fear of unfulfilled dreams. Talk about baggage, Dev. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, we've achieved a lot today. We made a best friend. Our boyfriend's moved in. Big changes. Likes flirtation. Oh, yeah, he likes flirtation. That's right, Dev. That's right. So uh, things have changed, you know, permanently now. Be interesting to see how running the ranch goes when you've got two pairs of hands. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Lots of changes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.